Hey, what's going on guys? It is Dom Ninja back with a brand new video. Um Firstly, I have made a lot of upgrades to my house and I will be showing these off in an, in another video sometime soon. So be ready for that. But I have been backed up with comments telling me to do a tips and tricks video. Firstly, I want to thank you guys for that. Um for giving me these ideas including um, finding vault 81 which I will be doing in a future video as well um, but today I'm gonna be doing a tips and tricks I've got seven of these things for you guys so I hope you all enjoy if you do please leave a like and if you're new to my channel subscribe and yeah um, so the first one is something the first two I'll give you is are two things that I've actually touched on in earlier videos but I want to kind of reiterate them for this video um and I'll just kind of briefly go over these building a house is extremely extremely important I can't stress how important this is um for multiple reasons first of all it gives you a settlement which you know I don't actually use um but it gives you peace of mind it gives you a place to go in this crazy toxic wasteland that you know that for the most part you'll be safe and it's a great way to store weapons and sleep and just all kinds of things also sleep um completely regains your life bar little tip little tip inside a tip but it's a great way to store weapons and things like that while we're on storing weapons i actually have a few things about this with just weapons um firstly melee weapons are extremely important and i'll touch on that in a second but where's my dog hey dog meat come here dog meat can actually hold weapons for you and as you can see he also listen come here hold position come here all right you can click trade when you're over at him and he's holding two of my weapons right now in his non-existent pockets and he's also wearing a little skull bandana if you find things that your dog can wear just simply trade it over to him and click triangle for equip and unequip if you're on PlayStation still don't know what it is for Xbox and all that stuff but that's actually pretty cool because if you're full of all these weapons and you can't carry anymore simply hand them to dog meat he'll hold them with his paws of course you can't use them but what are you looking at yeah um speaking of holding and not being able to carry weapons um there's actually ways that you can there's one really easy way that I didn't even think about, even though knowing that you could do this. You can carry them without having them in your inventory. Simply hold down the button it is to take until it goes from a little box to a circle and just take it. You know, and you can walk this over to a crate, um, pick it up and store it in that crate or box or whatever it is in your house too. <laughs> um, and then you can come back to that crate later if you want it in your inventory after selling some things and get it um so another thing is you can actually change the color that you see here on your pit boy and on your hud which is your life bar stuff what you want to do is you want to press start go down to settings display and hud and pit boy i'll be doing a pit boy color change for you guys so that you can all see let's see let's make it let's make it pink perfect um, and then just back out of it when you find your favorite color or whatever you want to make it and there it is and you can also do that with your life bar and everything like I said um, something extremely important that I wish that I had known as soon as I got this game is as soon as you can as soon as you get enough strength and you know weapons to do this find diamond city and go to it immediately as soon as you can don't get yourself killed but go out there when you can um or find somewhere to fast travel that's near it and then go to it um because reason being is diamond city is extremely important in your game um you can buy weapons and it's another another one of those things that just kind of gives you peace of mind because you know you can go somewhere where you're going to be safe for at least the time being I don't really know what happens in the story but this is an area where you can be safe is that a Christmas tree? There's one over here too. have these always been here? I don't think these have always been here 
anyways, it gives you place. It gives you a place to just go, and it also gives you a lot of really interesting missions. Like if you go to the dugout inn, which is if you go to the dugout inn, there's actually a really interesting um, mission that you do where you start a bar fight and then go to somebody's house and kill them. I won't tell you what happens because it's actually pretty cool. But um, and there's also a really really easy one if you go down to the science lab, which is also down there. It's a little blue door, it'll be on your right. But if you go to the science lab, you get one of the easiest missions, and it just gives you a little bit of caps. It's right here. Um, basically, all you have to do is find a gland of like a boat fly. I don't know how to say it, but it's really easy to do, and um, it gives you just a little extra caps in your pocket. Um, also, one more thing or actually two more things is like I said earlier melee weapons are really important because if you get something like this I love this one the most I would recommend this one the tire iron with the bladed bladed tire iron um, is really easy to make unless you're like me and use all your resources on your house as you could see earlier but you can also come here and usually buy it for very very cheap um, but you can this is my favorite one because it's just really easy to kill things with and um you can serve a lot of ammo which we all know is important for those dire moments when we really need it um so yeah melee weapons are very important in the game um and the last one is somebody asked me on playstation how to turn your flashlight on and i'm actually surprised that to get this question and I will cover that right now all you have to do is the same thing that opens up your pit boy all you have to do is just hold it in on PlayStation that's of course circle just hold it in and yeah see Boing. and you got a little flashlight and it's I think it's actually the same color that your pit boy will be so that's pretty cool too um, so yeah um, that has been my tips and tricks and my video for today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If I missed anything that you want to see in a video, go ahead and comment that and give me some new ideas. Um, who knows, I might make another tips and trick. Because I know that I didn't, I didn't, uh, cover a lot of them. Only seven. But, um, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and be looking out for more videos where I do more things that you guys want me to do coming soon. So, yeah, without babbling on anymore, um, I'm gonna end this video. I hope you all enjoyed. This has been 7 Tips and Tricks on Fallout 4 by Dom Ninja. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it chill.